Hello YouTube, this is going to be another PMP tutorial, and this one I think people are going to enjoy, because it's going to be um, to help your mind not lag as bad, and before we even begin I have to say this, this is not a 100% for sure thing, it's going to make your model stop lagging completely. I guess to guess, please remember that it is not one, a 100% for sure thing. Because when I have tried it, I have noticed my model, my models were not lagging as bad, but they were they were still lagging. And my friend, on the other hand, some of her models were moving perfectly fine. So I know it might just depend on the model. It might depend on the computer. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's begin. You can um, load up any model you want. It can be a pre-made model, such as a Nero I have back there, or it can be a model you made with a base. And with bases, those are usually the difficult ones, just because when you add on clothes, a lot of the times it will add on a bunch of extra crap for some reason. I, I really don't know why it does that, but most of the time it will. So to begin, I'm sure you guys have all noticed these and probably wonder, like, you know, what the heck is this? Today we're going to be focusing on this one, it's the pH. This is for the physics. Physics is probably the number one, or if not the only reason, why the model lag will lag so bad. So you get on that, and you'll see all this crap. And then you want to come up to this box here. Click on the D. This will come up. You can click on the V. On the little V box, you can click on the MA. And this box over here. Click on the VR, and then what will be different than what I normally have to say, what to click on, is you come down here, you click on this first one in the last row, and the second one, and yes, it's supposed to look like that. This is where you'll be able to see all the extra stuff, and so for example, if you guys can see, there's these little things that are like hanging out of her legs, those are extra arms for some reason. If you can kind of see, like, in the middle right here, she's got, like, some extra crooked legs. And in the middle right there is a bunch of extra stuff. I have no idea what that even is. And so this, all this mess down here could be a huge, if not, like, the main reason why she's lagging. So when you've done that, you come back up here. And all you got to do is start clicking on them, and then it should light up red. So as you can see, it's on bone, G1, head. It's this little chunk right there. And again, just gotta click on it and it, everyone should light up red. And please be careful with what you click because some, because some stuff may look like extra bones but it really isn't. Because believe me, I have done that where stuff has looked like it was extra but it wasn't. And when that happens, your model will mess up and it will not move. So you just have to keep scrolling down to see what is extra. And so, okay, here, example, there's one. You can either right-click and go to delete, then press OK or yes. Or what is easier is on your keyboard, press delete, not backspace, the delete button above the backspace, and then push enter. It's a lot quicker that way. So, see, there you can see the extra arms that are on her legs for some reason. There's an extra chunk. And if, when you scroll down to one, you don't see anything. Like, you don't see anything light up. It's probably best to not delete it because it could be something important. Yeah, here's a big chunk. I have no idea what the heck that is. So you will you will find sometimes random stuff like this in your model. It's just really random physics that like, there's just no reason why they're there, they're just there. And sometimes, like, for example, in this model, it could, it could take a while. It's because if, like, if you scroll down, there's all this you have to go through. So I'm obviously not going to go through all of this, but... That's all there is to... Um, trying to go faster. And I'm not an expert at this. So if you have any questions, I will try to help. 
um, as much as I can. So, you can message me or leave a comment. It's up to you. And I will try to help you respond to you as quick as I can. So stay tuned for the next PMD tutorial.